Hello, everybody. Harley here behind the camera. Spats is over there. Hello. And um, we thought that we would take a few household items that are rated for 120 volt AC and see how they work on 230 volt AC. So, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here, but... Here is a power strip off to the side. It's just a standard power strip plugged into the wall. See? And it's plugged into the wall over there behind the drill press. Um, I wanted to go ahead and let you know that um, all of these items, in one way or another, are not functioning the way that they should. However, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and plug in this GPX. GPX. Um, it's an AM FM radio digital alarm clock with battery backup jumbo LED display. So that's the all of the um, specifications that it broadcasts right there on the front. GPX. GPX. Grand Prix. Grand Prix, indeed. I'm moving the camera slightly, so forgive me. All right, there we go. Got to get my GPX on. Yeah, got to get my GPX on. GPX. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. All right, go for it. Um, now, I'm just going to use the switch on the power strip here because I don't necessarily want to have my hand nearby when I plug it into that 230-volt step-up transformer. But there we go on uh, regular 120-volt power. Um, turn the radio on. Okay, well, let's see here. Let's see if the radio even works. Radio on. Oh, the radio is on. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume. This, this. The volume's all the way up. GPX. There's no sound. Automatic level control. High performance. Digital sound system. Cloth covered speakers. Yeah, there's no sound at all. Digital sound system. <clears throat> yeah. Soft eject. So the radio doesn't work. The volume's all the way up here. See? All the way up. And nothing's happening. Three band graphic equalizer. Yes. The only thing it's doing is flashing 12 o'clock. And very poorly at that. Very poorly at it's that. It's completely worn out. Yeah. Because right. it's a GPX. Yeah, it's a GPX. Okay. I'm plugging it into 230 volt. It's really stiff because I don't use this step up transformer much. But there you go. Now, excuse me while I back up. All right. Three, two, one, on. What happened? Nothing. Is it working? Yes. How? I don't know. I'm going to stop the video here. Oh, there we go. Okay, did it pop? Yeah, just as I say I'm going to stop the video here, I hear a pop in the... Ooh, it smells like burnt GPX in China in here. Yeah, it kind of does. I think a fuse might have blown. Ooh, it smells like farts all of a sudden. No. <laughs> oh, wait, that was me. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. What you're looking at is the remains of the GPX. GPX! How did I know you were going to say that? Grand Prix. Um, and I can't find anything inside that may have been damaged, so I figured we would just try it again. So it's connected to 240 volts, and uh, I'm going to turn it on and see if there's any activity at all. So, three, two, one. And nothing's happening. Okay, I have moved far, far away. Um, and I decided the first thing I'm going to do is actually just try 120 volts because that is a 12 volt rail that it's connected to. So this is 10 times the correct voltage. And let's see what happens when I turn it on. Three, two, one. Breaker popped. That's all that happened. Alright, here we go one last time. 
on the GPX. GPX. Yeah, I was wondering if you were. Alright. Here's power. In three, two, one. Something popped. I heard a pop. There's smoke coming out of it. That's good. Okay, here on the display board of the GPX, you can actually see what failed. And that was these diodes here. I guess they just got overpowered by the 230 volts. You can see on the back here the circuit trace. Right there. That's actually what failed. This is mechanical damage caused by me ripping the wire out. Sorry, Gary. But right there, the burnt, melted hot spot is this, um, looks to be a full rectifier, an old, older style. Um, got four diodes and a couple of smoothing caps and then a filter cap, I believe is what that's doing there. So, yeah, that is what failed on the GPX. Okay, so that was the rather underwhelming GPX alarm clock, um, which basically went pop and smells vaguely of burnt electronics, but other than that, nothing really happened. So, okay. Here we have a modern six-inch clip-on fan. Is it a homeboy? It, it is a homeboy. Yes! Now, I want to reiterate... It doesn't work. Yeah, before I get... Hate. Before we get 35 comments from kids on certain fan groups, I just want to remind everybody... Everything that you will see here today has an issue of some sort. So, before we throw them away, because this fan right here worked fine for exactly one day. Okay, let me reiterate that. One day it worked. Um, before we throw these items away, we thought we would see what would happen. So, anyways, without further ado, plug this into 110 volts. So, there you go, the fan is running at the moment, um, now it's off. Alright, same test, only on 230 volts. Let's see what happens. Now if this thing starts smoking, it's going to blow right at me, but I digress. Here's 230 volts in 3, 2, 1, contact. I'm afraid to. I just ran away and covered my ears in case it just pop like that. incredibly disappointing. Unacceptable. Oh, we, yeah, it probably blew the fuse. All right, and here we go. Now I had to bypass the thermal fuse um, on the actual motor itself because the thermal fuse popped. We're going to put it back on 230 volts in three, two, one, go. Yeah, up this again. Ooh, that stinks. Oh, 
been running this long. Yep, there's smoke. Oh, a lot of smoke. Still smoking. Okay, and now there's this thing. Um, it is a piece of crap. I got this um, for some background white noise, but instead of background white noise, once the motor warms up, it does the rum, 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 rum. That's stupid noise that I hate. So, anyhow, here it is on 120 volts AC. Yeah, that's, that's more annoying than silence. Alright. Now here's hoping that we don't have a thermal fuse to worry about in this one. If so, I'll be taking it apart. Okay. 230 volts in three, two, go! Again, I had to bypass the thermal fuse in the motor, so here's 230 volts. Oh shit, it's crackling. My transformer fried and let out the magic smoke. So, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna turn it back on and see what happens. No, nope. immediately through the breaker. Okay, here we go again. I got the new transformer, and I realized I left this thing plugged in uh, to 120 volt power strip with it on, so it's just been sitting here smoking. Okay, here we're going to be testing an LED light bulb. Now, before I run it on the transformer, I'm going to turn it on so you can see it works on 
the 120 volts. Now let's bring this in. I had to do some minor cleanup because of the old transformer. Well, the old, the one that quit, in other words. There we go. All right, I'm just sliding back. This is the same LED bulb on 230 volts. Get as far back as I can. And on. Oh, it's like twice as bright. on the base that bulb is in fact rated for 120 volts only is it on? it's on the 230 volts now that bulb is designed for worldwide use and has a um, capacitive dropper inside or something that would allow it to work on any voltage, then I don't know. Okay, on to the next one. Well, let's see. It's not even warm. It's like still cold. Probably if it runs on 230, it draws more watts, wattage. Yeah, it says. 120 volt, 60 hertz, 2 watt. Okay, well, I'm gonna go on to this big one. Alright, not even gonna bother with the 120 volt. I'm just gonna back that ass up and turn it on from back here and see what happens. Alright, are you ready? As long as it doesn't explode in my face. You're a good 15 feet away, it's okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's very bright. And that did not last very long. At least it made some, <laughs> made some crunchy noises. <laughs> what? You have to reference my audio file. Oh, okay. All right, now we're gonna try a ProLume. 120 volts, 60 hertz. Smaller lamp. Made by GPX. And it's not made by GPX. You and your GPX. Alright. Here we go with it. Three, two, one, go. Well, it doesn't appear that anything's going to happen. This one's been on 240 volts for several minutes now, and it's still on. It's about twice as bright, but and it's very hot, but it's still on. So, so anyhow, well, there we go. Um, thanks for watching. We're going to do more of this. Um, if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see run on 240 volts, put them in the comments. Otherwise, click like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.